Hey, what's up? Pete Solving Node here. I've wanted to try and box for a long time. However, it was very hard to install. Luckily, Distro Watch Weekly did a guide last week on how to install Anbox. So today, I'm going to be testing out a bunch of different apps to see which ones run and which ones do not run. Keep in mind, I'm going to go through these pretty quick because I'm testing quite a few apps. Anyways, let's get started. So we are going to start off with the stock apps that come with Anbox, and the first thing we will look at is the calculator, in which I have had no issues with. Next we will look at the calendar, which also has no issues, although I don't think it uses material design, so it kind of looks dated because it uses the older Android design. The clock app works pretty well, and uh, all of the functions in the clock app work, so the clock app has no issues. The contacts app works, and you can import your contacts and things. However, if you try and add an account, uh, nothing happens. Uh, so, the uh, contacts app, you can't add an account in, so yeah. The email client works flawlessly. The files app works fine, although it doesn't show my Linux files, so I don't really see a point in having a files app on Anbox. The gallery always gives me a black screen. Uh, or, if it doesn't give me a black screen, it uh, crashes all of Anbox. As you can see here, the music player crashes Anbox. Uh, although, to be fair, uh, I have downloaded the stock music player on my Android phone, and the music player crashes on my Android phone too. So the stock music player is pretty buggy, and so I'm not going to... Uh, I don't think it's Anbox's fault that it crashes. The settings app works pretty flawlessly, which is good because you want to be able to configure Anbox. And finally, the WebView shell, uh, it, it works fine, although it looks a bit dated. However, as you can see, I can load up YouTube.com on here, although it is the mobile version. So uh, yeah, the WebView thing works fine. Now we're going to move on to some non-stock apps, however, we aren't going to get into any Play Store apps till later. So all of these apps will be from F-Droid. Speaking of Afteroid, the Afteroid app works flawlessly, with no issues whatsoever. I downloaded this app called AUR Droid, which allows you to look up AUR packages through an Android app. And uh, I just made that Zorn extensions video, so let's look up Zorn, because why not? And as you can see, it, uh, it, f it loads up, however, it can't search through Anbox. I want to download a web browser that isn't the standard web view and see if that would work, so I installed DuckDuckGo Privacy Browser. Uh, and as you can see, it works fine. And again, I'll go to youtube.com on it. As you can see, it does work. So, yeah. Poland Can Enter Space is a pretty fun game on F-Droid. However, in Anbox, it's stretched out by default. Luckily, you could just stretch it back into an app. Another issue is that sometimes an, uh, the window bar shows up, but other times it doesn't, so it's kind of inconsistent. And my last issue is uh, the physics are kind of buggy in Anbox. So, uh, um, or they were earlier when I tested it. Right now, I'm not having buggy physics, probably because I'm recording and OBS wants me to be wrong. But uh, as you can see, sometimes the Poland ball goes through my... Uh, platforms and it's just kind of jangly the way the camera looks so uh yeah the physics are messed up in this uh in Anbox for Poland into space now we couldn't get the normal galleries app to work so I installed simple gallery from F-Droid now I don't have any photos to test it on however the app does load fine and I can open up uh the hamburger menu and go to settings and do stuff like that I also installed Simple Notes off of F-Droid, not to be confused with uh, Simple Note. And as you can see, this actually works pretty well. Although there is a delay between me typing and it showing up. So I wouldn't want to use this for actually taking notes. I installed a tim terminal emulator, and as you can see, everything works, no issues. Now, I wanted to see if I could get a custom launcher running in uh, Anbox. So I installed Launcher Launcher, which doesn't open and Kiss Launcher, which also doesn't open. However, uh, Slim Launcher does open, uh, as you can see here, although Slim Launcher kind of sucks. However, you can't, uh, you can't set Slim Launcher as your default launcher, and if I swipe up to go to settings, 
some of the options are cut off unless I, uh, I bring down the bottom. So, yeah. Finally, that's all of the after it apps I'm testing. Now, let's try some Play Store apps. Now, the Google Play Store, uh, does open, however, whenever I try and sign into Google, uh, it crashes. Or at least it did crash earlier when I tested this. Now, it's just not doing anything. Now, because of this, all of the Play Store apps I had to get from, uh, like, APK Peer and stuff. And the paid apps that I installed, ge aka Geometry Dash in Minecraft, I had to pirate. Now, I do own these apps on the Play Store, so, uh, I... So I'm not pirating them just to pirate them. I'm pirating them because it's the only way I can get them in Anbox. So I do own these apps. Keep that in mind. Now I tried installing the Amazon App Store, Chrome, Writer, Slither.io, and YouTube, but I couldn't install them because of missing libraries. Now when I open up Geometry Dash, uh, it starts playing music, or at least it did when I- yeah, as you can see it started playing music, although it doesn't open any apps, and the only way to stop this music is for me to go into my distribution's system monitor and uh, close Anbox through here. That's the only way to stop the music from Geometry Dash. Okay, so Minecraft is kind of weird. Uh, sometimes, it every single time I've tested it, it's had a different result. The first time I tested it, it opened a white window, then crashed. The second time I tested it, it opened a white window, and it just stayed open. The third time I tested it, nothing happened, and now this time, Minecraft got to its loading screen, but then the uh, Anbox application manager crashed, and this isn't responding. So, Minecraft is kind of weird for some reason. So, yeah. Again, to close Minecraft, I had to uh, disable Anbox inside of my system monitor. The Reddit app loads up, and I can browse popular stuff. However, uh, when I... And I can go to uh, subreddits. However, uh, it... When I tr whenever I try and log in, as you can see, uh, if I go and log in right here, it just immediately bugs out. So it lets me sign in, but then when it, it like lets me enter in my stuff, but then uh, instead of logging me in, it just crashes. So I, I don't know what's going on with the Reddit app. And finally, the last app we will try is Discord. And to end in a positive note, it actually works flawlessly. Although, typing is a bit delayed, um, so I don't know why you would want to use a Discord Android app, especially since there's Discord for the desktop. So, yeah. In conclusion, most of the stock apps work, although not all of them do. Almost all of the F-Droid apps I've tested worked, although uh, Poland Can Enter Space had some buggy physics. And, uh, most, pretty much all of the stuff that is on the Play Store has some sort of issue. So, would I recommend Anbox? When it improves, I would, but right now, I'd, instead, I'd recommend you to just get a virtual machine of something like Bliss OS or Android x86, or that new one that I forgot the name of. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.